Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dead Mall Walking. Today we're on New Bond Street, one of the fanciest shopping streets in London, to check out a Ralph Lauren flagship store. Note that I say A rather than THE there, since there's another Ralph Lauren flagship right around the corner from this one, literally a five minute walk away, as well as another large store in Brompton Cross. That might seem like a weird move, but as we'll see in the video, there's a couple of differences between these stores that goes some way towards explaining the multiple locations. First off, a quick history lesson. Opened in 1999, the store was designed to feel like a 1920s ocean liner. Solid mahogany wall panelling, art deco touches, and pieces of artwork throughout plus a ton of working fireplaces, which I can only assume are never actually used. I don't know about you, but I get more of a high-class New York City apartment vibe than an ocean liner personally, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Then again, with four floors and more than 2,000 square meters of retail space, there's probably room for a few different themes. As I was editing this video, the thought occurred to me that it might look suspiciously like branded content. Well, I can confirm that's not the case here. Although I've spent some money on Ralph Lauren products over the years, sadly Ralph has not returned the favour by hyping up my YouTube channel. If the inclusion of this store on a channel seemingly devoted to dead malls seems strange, there's a reason for that. After everything that's happened in 2020, retail is suffering at a rate that makes the years that came before it look like a picnic. Of course I'll be continuing to document dying retail, but I hope there's a place on this channel to celebrate stores and malls that are thriving too. I think this video might be the best example of that on the channel so far. If you're a fan, I hope you'll give it a like and maybe subscribe for future content. Spread over a number of floors, there's a ton of stuff to see here. I really like the evocative copy on the Ralph Lauren website, which talks about the contrast between the masculine atmosphere of the first two floors and the, quote, luxurious combination of blonde mahogany with pale suede and cashmeres, which creates a sophisticated feminine tone upstairs. Here I am interrupting a shop worker stacking aftershave boxes. Doesn't he look like he could have stepped straight out of the catalogue? Before we get into those masculine and feminine zones, let's take a quick pit stop in the kids section. If your five year old ever needs to launch a boat, this is where you've got to be. I do love that they have a children's book about Ralph Lauren's life though, now that's what I call branding. One of my favourite sections in this store is the double RL section, which is one of only a couple of locations in the UK where you can buy the brand. Expect lots of western theming and selvage denim, since the brand is named after Ralph's Colorado Ranch. Also, the tiniest Hawaiian shirt I've ever seen. The only thing that's missing up here is a saloon owner sliding a glass of whiskey down the bar to you. Although the employees will bring you a drink while you're browsing if you ask nicely. Unfortunately, the price tags up here are not suitable for a cowboy's budget. FYI, there's also a western section upstairs in the women's department. Just in case you feel like embracing your inner cowgirl. Now, let's move from the ranch to the high life. On the upper floor is the main women's section. 
which feels like something straight out of the Upper East Side. I was expecting Serena Vander Woodson or Chuck Bass to appear at any minute while I was up here. They didn't, but I did make another little friend. You walk in, and boom, puppy. Don't forget to check out the world's biggest mirror while you're there. Which has a TV right in the middle of it. For some reason. I really love this mural coming up on the right hand side here. So let's channel our inner Ferris Bueller and stand and stare at it for a while. Heading all the way downstairs, past the men's clothing, we'll see some of the great photos and artwork in the stairwells. From New York to the Old West or a Parisian fashion house, this place really does do a great job of transporting you somewhere else. If it wasn't obvious, I'm a very big fan of retail theming. And that's something that this place does so, so well. As you can see here, there's a ton of home stuff down in the basement, and that's one of the things that sets this store apart from the other Ralph Lauren stores in London. In fact, there are fully functional rooms decked out with nothing but Ralph Lauren products. Presumably, the idea is that rich guys with no imagination will come in, think it looks good, and say, I'll take it all, so they can replicate it exactly in one of their homes. Ultimately, I feel like that's who this store is for. People who can afford to come in and get a tie in every colour without looking at a single price tag. And I'll level with you, that's definitely not me. But there's a certain attraction to looking at £3,000 coats and bags that will set you back more than £20,000 to get a taste of how the other half live. If you ever come to London, I think this place is worth checking out for yourself. It's one of only a handful of Ralph Lauren flagship stores across the world after all. I hope you've enjoyed this video and checking out this place with me. I'll be back with new videos soon, I hope, exploring more retail hotspots in London and beyond. Until next time, thanks for dropping in and goodbye from the Ralph Lauren flagship store.